वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास फोर लेसन थ्री सेशन थ्री पॉइंट टू ऑन एडिशन फॉर प्रॉब्लम बट बिफोर दैट लेट एस लुक एट द सोल्यूशन टू वर्कशीट थ्री पॉइंट वन आई हैड शेयर दिस वर्कशीट इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज फाइव सिक्स एट वन नाइन प्लस सेवन एट टू थ्री नाइन वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वन कॉलम वन कॉलम वी हैव नाइन प्लस नाइन एटीन so one will go on top as carry and eight will be written at the bottom of ones column now the tens column here we have 1 plus 3 4 and 4 plus 1 of the carry we get 5 so we will write 5 in the tens column after that in the hundreds column we have 8 plus 2 8 plus 2 is 10 so One of ten will go in the thousands place as carry, and zero will be written at the bottom of hundreds column. Now in thousands column we have six plus eight, which is fourteen. Fourteen plus one of the carry makes it fifteen. In fifteen, the one will go into the ten thousand column on top as carry, and five will be written at the bottom of thousands column. In the ten thousand column, we have five plus seven, which is twelve, plus one thirteen. Now, the one of thirteen will not go on top as there is no other number. So we will write one three thirteen at the bottom only. The answer that we get here is one three five zero five eight. I hope by now your concepts would be absolutely clear. I have just shared the answer directly with you. In case you have made a mistake, I have even written the carryovers on top. This will help you rectify your mistake. The question was two seven one one eight plus one four five nine nine, and the answer to this is four one seven one seven. Question three. Four eight three seven seven plus two four seven two eight. And the answer to this is seven three one zero five. Question four. Eight one four one seven plus six four two nine three. And the answer to this is one four five seven one zero. Question five. Eight three zero zero nine plus three six nine four. And the answer to this is eight six seven zero three. Question six. Five one nine six eight plus four two six nine plus one two five one, and the answer is five seven four eight eight. Question seven. Three five six one seven plus six seven four one six plus five six four eight five, and the answer to this is one five nine. Five one eight. Question eight. Seven five six four one plus two three six nine two plus one zero nine six seven, and the answer to this is one one zero three zero zero. Question nine. Write in columns and add. Now here both were five digit numbers. It was very easy to write them one below the other. I'm sure you would have been able to write it. Numbers were. Six five two three nine plus one two zero five six, and the answer to this is seven seven two nine five. Question ten: Write in columns and add. Here we have different number of digits in each number. Now here the first number is one five six nine five, which is a five digit number. Second number is seven two four six, which is a four digit number, and the third number is one three five. Which is a three-digit number. Now we have to ensure that we write them properly as per the place value chart. Now, first number you can write, and that is no problem. But when you write the second uh, number, that is when you have to be careful. You will start writing the second number from right side. That is the number seven two four six. You will write six first under ones column. Then you will write four. Under tens column, 
then you will write two under hundreds column and then you will write seven under thousands column and then you will go to the next number next number is 135 now 135 again you will start writing from the right side you will start with the digit 5 5 will be written in ones column then we then we go to 3 which will be written in tens column and then 1 which will be written in hundreds column one has to be very careful in writing these numbers if you do not write it properly you will never get the correct answer after you have taken this point into consideration then you add and the answer that you will get is 23076 now this brings us to the end of the solutions now today we will start with addition word problems I have taken an example here a factory produces 11525 cars in January and 10637 cars in February how many cars were produced in these two months children are very afraid of the word problems this is nothing but an integration of your English and maths class now, if I just tell you, what did you understand out of this question? A factory produces 11525 cars in January and 10637 cars in February. That means they have told you about a factory and the production of cars it is doing in the month of January and the production of cars it is doing in the month of February. And after that, in the final statement, they have asked how many cars were produced in these two months? So finally, what do you have to tell in the answer? You have to tell what was the total production in the two months. Now to solve this question, you will have to write statements. The information given to us is about the cars produced in January and cars produced in February. So we will write cars produced in January 11525. Second statement we will write cars produced in February total cars produced it will be 11525 plus 10637 after this you will do the calculation in pair find the answer write it write the answer once here and then report the answer 22162 cars were produced in two months i hope you are clear with the way you are supposed to write look how numbers are written one below the other calculation is done in the pair you will write the answer in one proper sentence reporting how many cars with units. Here we are talking about cars. So I have written 22162 cars. Okay. Now we will do a worksheet to enhance our understanding. Worksheet 3.2. Question 1. Cost of a mobile is rupees 12546. Cost of a fridge is rupees 20357. What is the combined cost of mobile and fridge? So you will write the statements as cost of a mobile, cost of a fridge and then the total cost or you can write the combined cost and add and report the answer as whatever answer you get rupees so and so. Okay. Question 2. There are 4, 2, 3, 5 bags of wheat and 1, 2, 3, 7 bags of salt in a store. Find the number of bags in the store. Now let us look at what have they told us in this question. They have told us about the number of bags of wheat and the number of bags of salt. So we will write the first statement as number of bags of wheat. Second statement as number of bags of salt. And finally they have asked us to tell how many number of bags are there in the store. Store. So we will write total number of bags. We will add and find the answer. There are 7, 8, 5, 2 cows, 4, 2, 3, 5 buffaloes and 1, 8, 6, 9 goats in a farm. How many total cattle are there in the farm? So statements will be number of cows, number of buffaloes, number of goats and final statement will be total number of cattle question number 4 a milk booth sold 11456 the next number is 10568 and 10218 liters of milk in the last quarter of 2018 
how much total milk was sold in the last quarter so last quarter they are referring to october november december so you can write milk sold in october milk sold in november milk sold in december then total milk sold question 5 three pipes are 52185 meters 15635 meters and 2039 meters long find the total length of these pipes also write the number sentence so after reporting the answer you will write it in the number sentence form also question 6 mohit subtracted 25482 from a number the remainder was 8569 what was the number he started with here they are telling us that there was a particular number from which they subtracted 25482 then they got the answer as 8569 now we have to find the number with which they had started so to find that you will have to add these two question 7 a school library has 27896 books in english 19632 books in hindi and 10887 books in other languages how many books are there in the library write the solution sentence so in this question they have told us the number of books a library has of english of hindi and other languages so number of books in english number of books in hindi number of books in other languages then we have to find out the total number of books so the next statement will be total number of books now what they have written in the end here in the question write the solution sentence that means the sentence that we are writing in the end that we have to write it that total number of books in the library are whatever number you get as the answer so that is called writing the solution sentence question 8 cost of a scooter is rupees 5698 more than the cost of a tv if the cost of the tv is rupees 26594 find the total cost of the scooter and the tv now this is a tricky question please pay attention here now students in this particular question there are two methods of doing it they have given us the cost of the tv and they have told scooter is some uh, 5698 more than the cost of the tv and they have not asked, asked us the cost of the scooter they have directly asked what is the total cost of the scooter and the tv so either you do it by the first method simple steps that is you find out the cost of the scooter first and then you add the cost of the scooter and the cost of the tv so first i'll explain that cost of tv is 26 594 so first sentence will be cost of tv is equal to rupees 26594 second sentence will be cost of scooter is equal to 26594 plus 5698 whatever answer you get that you will write it there then third sentence will be total cost and then what answer you have just got for scooter that plus 26594 you find out the answer and you write it that is one method another method you write cost of TV then you write cost of scooter 26594 plus 5698 and you leave it like that okay you don't calculate it right now then you write the third statement total cost now for the total cost whatever entries you have done in the first two lines you will add them up that means you'll have three numbers to add which is going to be 26594 plus 26594 plus 5698 and now you add all three of them together you can do by whichever method you like final answer is going to be the same and then you will write total cost is rupees whatever answer you get dear students after doing this question i'm sure you need a break so we will end this worksheet here i wish you luck with your worksheet and until we meet again stay safe stay happy